Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. Uh, today I'm going to go over a uh, computer troubleshooting video and this is going to be on uh, fixing a uh, OneNote screen blinking on my uh, Windows 10 plus increasing task priority. It's going to be an interesting topic here. And uh, yeah, like always, uh, you could uh, play this video at a faster speed and yeah, just look at these recommendations and you can download and read the notes in the link below or view these notes in article format on the Hive blockchain, also in the link below. Anyways, let's just jump right ahead. So, so topics to cover. So one note screen keeps blinking, possible fixes, and then we'll look at restarting or reinstalling one note computer and or operating system and then updating group policy. And then uh, the other one is increasing the task priority, which is... This one, this one could be used for pretty much anything. Yeah, so I'll just bold that. And then uh, then for reference, my computer specs. So let's just jump right in. So OneNote uh, screen keeps blinking. So recently I've noticed that when I'm recording my videos and start writing on OneNote, like I am doing right now, the screen glitches in and out by showing a blank white screen and then the writing strokes gradually and periodically reappear. And uh, this occurs much more frequently as the OneNote page gets very large, as often arises in my many multi-hour long videos. So yeah, so it might not show up in this particular video that I'm doing. And uh, yeah, so basically when I'm recording and writing, and sometimes it would just like glitch out, and the whole screen becomes white, and, and then it comes back like slowly, starts coming back like this slowly, and, and so on. So yes, uh, let's just jump right in. So possible fixes. Here are a few possible fixes that have worked for me, at least temporarily. So restarting or reinstalling OneNote computer and or and or operating system. So as with most computer problems, the first step in troubleshooting is often just to restart the application or computer. This may clear some cache or, or in other words, uh, temporarily stored files, as well as get the computer to a previous state before any possible computer bugs were present. If that doesn't work, or if other fixes listed below in this video don't work, then you can try uninstalling and reinstalling OneNote but if uh, none of the fixes in this video work for you, or if there are other issues with your computer, then you can try uh, uninstalling and uh, reinstalling, or even, yeah, uh, as well as uh, updating the Windows operating system itself. So I'm not gonna go over that. These are just possible things you can look at. Uh, and then the other one is updating group policy. And I'll, I'll go to that in a bit. So the following fix from the OneNote subreddit and involves changing the computer, quote, group policy. Since the, since the quote, screen blinking has occurred for me peri periodically, I would need more time to see how effective this fix is. However, I am including this possible fix because it was stated directly from a or from an OneNote engineer. First, let's just read up on group policy. It's from Wikipedia. So group policy is a feature of the Microsoft Windows NT family of operating systems that controls the working environment of user groups, um, user accounts, and computer accounts. Group policies in part control what users can and cannot do on a computer system. For example, a group policy can be used to enforce a password complexity policy that prevents users from choosing an overly simple password. So yes, it's basically set how people can can uh, use the whole the entire computer and the operating system uh, within it. So anyways, this is from the uh, the Reddit uh, OneNote, the subreddit right here, so the OneNote right here. So uh, this was a, this is from the OneNote one, let's scroll down. So th this was a question uh, 11 months ago by this, uh, by a user, by user right here, Splash, Splash Cloud, um, yeah, 11 months ago. So the screen keeps uh, blinking when I'm using OneNote on the Surface Pro, and sometimes uh, when I go to write, write the screen flashes black for, this, in this case it's black, for a second, right when I touch it, it only happens right when I begin to write erasing and touching the screen with my hand does not cause it to blink. It only happens when I'm trying to write in OneNote. Other applications don't have problems with writing. Turning the device on and off does does temporarily fix the problem, but it comes back again sooner soon after. Yeah, that's the uh, same with, with uh, happened to me. So th that's why uh, uninstalling or just a restarting computer uh, so may work temporarily. Uh, I tried uninstalling and updating the, dis the display drivers, but the problem came back after a week. Since it uh, seems to only be happening with OneNote, I was wondering if there's something I could try with the app that might fix it. And this person uh, puts an edit according to the about section. I am on version this one. Uh, that version and it also it, it, for him it says uh, or yeah, him or her it seems like it only happens if I use the pencil tool so I've completely switched to the pen tool and hasn't happened since so for example here this is a pencil tool this one's a pen so that was in their case this is a pencil pretty uh, yeah it's, and this is a pen they look, they look pretty similar it depends on the size that you want to make it so you can make it look at like a pencil, pen, etc. So for yeah, so note that this particular user had the the issue only when using the pencil tool, but for me it was, uh, it was either or. 
I mean, yeah, both of them, uh, the issue arose. Uh, the OneNote engineer states that the screen blinking can be fixed by ensuring the, quote, group policy includes, uh, quote, administrators and window manager slash uh, window manager group in the increased <laughs> scheduling priority option. So this is from the OneNote engineer. Initially, they said we haven't seen similar issues, but I would first try to uninstall and install OneNote. If that doesn't work, go to your uh, Microsoft store. This seems like a display connector is loose. That's my best guess. And then edit, we found that this was indeed a problem. This is the mitigation. Mitigation, in case anyone Googling finds a slate or one of our managed uh, environment uh, engineers contacted Microsoft who provided information on a fix which worked for us. So you go to group policy, computer configuration, window settings, security settings, local policy, policies, user rights uh, assignment, and uh, then here increase scheduling priority. And it says must contain administrators and window manager slash window manager group. So when I located the quote, increasing scheduling pr uh, priority in the group policy, it had already uh, yet already had quote administrators and quote window manager and slash uh, window manager group. So here you can go to the uh, group policy, click on window settings, then you click on security settings and you click on local policies, go to user rights agreements over here. And let's just do that for, uh, for completeness. So you, you just click here, you can either press the windows button, you scroll down here. So that's why I'm recording the whole screen. Yeah, so let's just click this button right here and then you click it, it opens up here and then you can search and you can search, um, this is a local or just group policy. Edit group policy, open it. And then it goes here, you go to window settings. It opens it and then you go to uh, security settings. Then you go to local policies, user rights management, and then you scroll all the way to um, increase scheduling priority. So you double click it. So yeah, this is uh, initially didn't have my name actually. So then what I had to do was you go add user or group, and then you could just click uh, advanced. Then you click find, find now, and you just search for which one is yours. Uh, the, the one that you're currently using, so that's what I did. And I would go right here. So this one's mine, you click OK. It adds it, so this one's that, and it automatically, yeah. So Matthew Sefo and MES slash Matthew Sefo, those are those are the same. So thumbs, yeah. So just apply, and uh, yeah. So okay, just do that, and yeah. So increase, yeah. So I have the more images here. So increase scheduling priorities. So you so you add those. Increase. So instead, yeah. So it, they didn't have that initially. Um, I mean they already had had administrators and this one. So then I would uh, add add those uh, or add my user one and it's, it just shows us two for some reason. Uh, but anyways, instead I added a specific user account that I was using by selecting add user or group, go to click advanced. Yeah, so I would, um, yeah, click add user or uh, group and then click the advanced, click the find now on the pop-ups and then it goes sc scroll and click this one. So let me know if this works for you. And once again, uh, I would need to do this for longer to see if it uh, has any issues, but it only arises when I'm doing super long videos such as let's see, let's try it right here let's click on this is my earlier video so this is yeah one of my earlier videos one of the super long math ones so if i scroll down and start writing let's see if it glitches this is pencil so yeah right now it's uh, there's no glitching there's no screen whatever so yes yeah, so that's what i mean it, it usually takes a while and it's periodic so increasing the task priority so the following fix can be considered as a brute force solution and can be used for all other applications so that's why i included in, in the title um, so it doesn't need to be just for OneNote. so this involves changing the task priority of OneNote or other applications so that the computer processing power is focused on any specific application and which can greatly increase loading speed so when I increase the task priority for OneNote and Bandicam uh, screen recording software that's I'm using right here, that's why I have it. Uh, that's why I have it uh, recording this as well. So this is the one I'm using. So I, so I also want this to be sp sped up as well. So this is what I'm recording right now. Yeah. So that uh, yes. Yeah, so, so so that it records close to real time without any glitches and or lag and so on. So, I, so when I increase the task priority for OneNote, yeah, I've noticed that although the screen blinking doesn't completely go away, the screen blinking lag time is greatly decreased to manageable and tolerable level. So even if the screen goes away, it comes back like pretty instant, as opposed to before it would take like several seconds. So thus for all my future videos, I've decided to ensure the OneNote and, and Bandicam uh, screen recording software are set to a set to an adequate or this is going to be 
an adequate, not a an adequate. I uh, have to re remove that a there. So adequate task priority that minimizes any lag time or screen blinking. Note that I go, uh, no, note that I got this idea from the following article, which includes some warnings to consider before playing around with the computer's process priority or uh, task priority. So this one they call uh, process priority, but I'll just call it task. It's the same thing. So uh, this is from this website right here. So winarrow.com. Okay, so how to change process priority in Windows 10. So you have some interesting uh, warnings. You got to <laughs> check up on this. So as you may already know, Windows shares your computer CPU uh, pro resources between running apps. How many resources will be given to a process is determined by its priority. The higher the priority level, the more resources, resources will be all allocated to the process. In this article, we will see how to set or change process priority in Windows 10. There are six uh, priority levels. Uh, available to the processes in Windows as follows. So yeah, low, below, normal, normal, above normal, high, and real time. So normal is a default level. Most apps start with this priority level and run without issues. And the user can temporarily change process priority to speed up the app or slow it down and make it consume less resources. A new priority level applied to the app will take effect till the app's process terminates. Yeah, so once you exit that app, the next time it will open with a default priority level, uh, which is normal unless the app itself has a setting to change its priority uh, automatically. So some apps can adjust their priority automatically. The popular WinRare and 7-Zip archivers are able to raise their priority to quote above normal to speed up the archiving process. Or media players like WinApp can raise their processes, process priority during playback, so when you're playing the video. Uh, before you proceed, you need to know the following. The real-time priority level is not meant to be set by the user. It can cause system instability and an application running at this priority can consume 100% of CPU and, and, and intercept keyboard and mouse input, making the PC unusable. So yes, because uh, you still need to be allocating resources to the, uh, to the mouse and, and keyboard and so on. <laughs> well, it depends if you need to for whatever you're doing. So to, to change the process priority, go to quote task manager, then go to details and right click the task and set uh, priority. So you go over here, the task manager, so that you can see the uh, uh, apps running. So you got Bandicam, you got OneNote, and you got the, uh, these other ones right there. And you can see their percentages and so on. And then uh, you would go click on this details. So you click on details right here. And then on the details, you, you would go here, it shows you all the uh, all the tasks or processes or processes. And then you could right click and then you could change real time, high time, whatever. So that's the OneNote one. And there's the bendy cam right there. So and then you can go and click change priority and that should be it. But let's just do that right here. So you would go click here, just write task manager. So just TAS and then uh, open. So you open it. And now you got uh, these, uh, yes, you, these are the apps and you can sort out by ones using the CPU. So right now the Bandicam is using the most. It's because it's recording in real time. So you could also do like like this to show you which one or do that by name. It shows the apps and there's also background processes as well. So you can ensure that they're not uh, being used, that if you, you don't want to be used. So then you go to details and then again, there's the uh, one right there, memory active, uh, memory in use by the process that can't be used by other processes. Exclude suspended U, W, P, and so on. So anyway, so you would go right click here. So this is the OneNote one has the most memory being used. And then I would go set priority. And right now it's normal, I just set it to high. Yeah, so just do that. And then likewise for the Bandicam, set it to high. So yeah, real time, uh, that's a bit, uh, yeah, so yeah, it's a warning on that article says, yeah, warning to do that. If, if if you uh, so make sure you know what you're doing when you make it real time. So now it's now it's a uh, much faster and uh, it's hard to uh, compare because right now it's a short video. But if you do a super long video, if you want to see how fast it scrolls, let's see if I scroll up like this. So it's everything's like real time loading on this one, almost, almost real time. So super fast uh, loading there on this video. Yes, yeah, so this is my old uh, math video. Yeah, but uh, but now let's go to a different video. This was a um, so this was my <laughs> this is like a ten hour long video. Let's see how long scrolling. Let's see how smooth this one is, and let's just write some stuff here. This was my vortex math video. But anyways, if I do this, so let's keep scrolling down. So yeah, it's loading super quickly. So that that was a lag time. Now let's let's just change it to see how it is. So let's go to the one note, and let's set priority to let's go with low just to see if the, there's a big difference or not. So you go low. So now it's loading. Okay, so that was a load. Yes, yeah, so right now it's everything is everything is white, it's still decent, and it's loading. 
Let's see, everything's white right now when I scroll. Okay. So yes, this is this isn't too bad. But yeah, once you uh, once you get to <laughs> hours long uh, recording, it will start um, glitching up. So yes, it's all white now. It's loading and then it loads. And then if you go set it up, let's see if it does that at all. So I want to do this real or super high speed. Okay, let's see. Okay, this is still lagging. Yeah, this one's it's yeah it's loading much quicker now. So like this this whole scrolling, it hasn't any white screen. So yes, it's loading super super quick. And there's this white screen, but it comes back. Uh, but uh, anyway, so when you do write it, it, right now there's no issues. Right now, okay. Now now that now we're getting some issues. Okay, so that was a slight uh, lag. But again, when when you're dealing with big file, that will happen. Anyways, so uh, that's what uh, has worked for me in, in terms of brute force. And the other ones, I will uh, will have to wait and see to see how how uh, how long they will be working for, such as the. Uh, group policy and so on. So this is a pretty useful way of manually speeding up any application or task or process or background process that you require. Because you could do it, you could make some of them low, like if you're not using Skype, for example, you could lower it. If you're not using OneDrive, uh, like necessarily you can lower it or you could just pause OneDrive here. So whenever, yeah, it depends on what you're using and not using. So you could just make it low priority, which ones you want high. For example, in this one, I need Bandicam, the recording software, and OneNote, the writing software is to be uh, super fast. So uh, let's go forward. So this is a pretty useful way of manually speeding up any application or task or process or background process that you require. I'm starting to use this feature whenever I am recording a video on the computer because I would like to ensure that there are as few computer glitches as, and as fast loading times as practical because all those will become uh, visible in the final recorded video. So hope this helps and let me know which fix helped. And uh, yes, yeah, so here's the computer specs for reference. Here are the relevant uh, specifications of the computer's hardware and software that I'm using. So I'm using Microsoft Surface Pro 3 and the Windows, uh, this is an image of it, how it looks like. So the Windows 10 operating system and the Surface Pro 3 specs are shown below. So it's an i5 processor, uh, four gigs RAM, 64 bit um, operating system and so on. And some, some other uh, device ID, product ID and so on. And let's just go faster down. And yes, use Windows 10, there's a bunch of other stuff here. Again, these will all be, yeah, and there's a version for uh, OneNote. Uh, yeah, note, uh, the OneNote application version is shown below. And the Bandicam uh, computer recording software is, uh, version is shown below here. And uh, yeah, so this is all just for reference and these will all be visible on the, uh, when you can download the notes in the link below or in the uh, in the block, uh, Hive blockchain and article format. Anyways, that is all for today. And uh, yeah, so you can download them. Link will be in the description below and hopefully this helped you out. And it, <laughs> yeah, so I made this video because uh, it helped me out. Well, uh, the, these helped me a lot great, greatly because I was just gonna ignore it, but I'm like, might as well fix it up and do a video on it. Anyways, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.